Welcome to Green Magic Gardening. My name is Ribby Boy, and we keep it raw, real, and 100. We keep it the people's channel. <laughs> That's right, guys. Crazy Ribby Boy here, back with another. This will be a whole seed to harvest, guys. We're going to go through it real quickly. You guys will be able to check this out. I know you guys love watching these grow start off from seedling all the way to harvest, baby. So we planted, this is a Grow Peaceful, www.growpeaceful.com. You order this, shows up to your house, full of soil with one, one or two seeds. I can't remember the seeds that you choose on their site. Use code green magic, save yourself money. It'll show up to your door, very discreet in a box. You plant your seed, guys, and you just give it tap water that sat out overnight. That's it, that easy. And it just takes water. And then you guys will see, you'll be able to watch this all the way through. I'm not gonna be showing you the waterings and all that though. Very simple, you can go watch the three-part series and I break it all down. This is just for the people that like to watch seed to harvest. So I just planted her in, we soaked her down with some pH water, 6.5, 6.4 actually put the seed in and now she's going in the SE under the SE 3000 at 4 28 inches at 40 percent is what we will keep her on when she comes up um, code green magic for spider farmer or, or anything that I'm affiliated with guys if you want to and memberships are on if you want to support the channel even further I would freaking love you for that there you have it guys this will be the first yeah well I just put the seed in. Like I said, we'll be back when she comes up. We missed a day yesterday. We missed day three, but we're on to day four now, guys. Nothing happened. Still no water. We're just that last watering. She'll be good for two more days, probably day six, and then we'll have to top her up again. But there you have it. Day four. Nothing's changed. Well, we jump ahead to day six, guys. The light has been turned to 50%. It's exactly 296 par at the top of this little canopy. And we just give it a whole liter pH that's 6.6. .6 dechlorinated bubble, the whole works overnight. Bam. Whole liter, day six. And day eight has arrived, my friends and family. Day eight, I just gave her like literally like one third of a liter maybe of green rush that I had left over. I literally had no other plants I could give it to and I did not want to throw it out. So there you have it. Day eight, guys, I'm gonna do a really quick, it's gonna be a different kind of seed to harvest. I'll try to just check in every day real quick and uh, it'll be a day-to-day -day seed to harvest. You guys know you love it. Well, we are back at day 11, guys. Uh, yesterday, I updated two days ago. It didn't have any sound. So, yeah. It's not going to be every day update. We don't want to drag out too long. But um, I'll try to get an update most days, guys. She will be getting a good liter of water today. Probably even a little bit more. A uh, liter and a half. I'm going to give her a liter and a half nothing's changed it's still the same height same par everything the same but it's day 11. whoa day 14 for this beautiful girl she's going amazing guys we haven't given her any water um for days it has been days and look at her just awesome just awesome so yeah nothing more to say Nothing more to say, she's still holding on to lots of moisture. And we're 14 days in, and she's looking monstrous. Well, we're back at day 17, guys. So, still not watering it. It's been going, it's gone without water for like a while now. And it's gonna be another two days, because look at the moisture it's still holding. What a plant, guys. What a, what a freaking setup here, this is crazy. It is so healthy. You just hit it with water hard once it gets to a certain, you know, certain size. And boom, you can leave this sucker for a week, man. Unbelievable. Now, I turned up the light because I checked the part. It was only at 214 par. Now, I want to push this. I want to push this one harder, and I want to try to get, you know, a lot more weight than three ounces this time. I want to grow a big one. So I'm not, I'm not afraid to run the nutrients out to push it too hard to where we, uh, we might run out of earth. Holy, spit it out. <laughs> we 
might run out of nutrients. You know, pretty early pushing it like this, but that's okay, guys. I got plenty. I can give her some. Don't be afraid to push it hard. Well, keep an eye on it, right? Don't, don't botch the grow. <laughs> so we put it to 60%. It's at 34 inches from the canopy, and it's still only at 295 par, guys. I don't want to go any higher than 60% than on the light. But 300 still seems low, but look at the growth we've had already. So I'll come back in a couple of days and we'll see how this affected it. It's been two days, I believe. We're at day 19. It just got two liters of pH water at 6.4. Remember, we did turn the light up there to 300 par. And she's loving life, man. She's praying every day like this. Light literally just turned on and I watered it. I just watered it. So it's not praying like it usually would be. But she's loving life, guys. Look at that plant. I'll even give you a little dance around. A little spin around. I wanted to give her silica today, but I forgot, you know? So maybe next time, guys. Day 20 has arrived, guys. When we watered it yesterday at day 19, we gave it two full liters of just plain water, dechlorinated bubbles with the pie, the pie, the paw fly air pump right i just bubble it normal tap water you guys know the roll by now light's been at 60 percent we'll get a quick breeding on the part all right hey let's see what we got yes i turned it up so yeah 400 par i think that's pretty good right there guys she's not stretching too crazily uh, i think we're a good to go right there so what i'm going to start doing is using the bud clip and I'm gonna start bending it over like that. So then this, all of these secondaries and third dairies become main dairies, <laughs> become main colas, right? They'll all to create an even canopy, guys. Day 20. Just checking in real quick to show you day 21, we are putting on a bud clip just to start making it even so we can get a more even canopy. And like I said, we're trying to go all out with this grow this time, guys. So pretty cool, worked out nice. Day 25 has come along. Light is still at around the same. It's like 300 par at the top. Look at, we trained that over. We just trained these ones over. It didn't get any water for well, um, I'm pretty sure I would have told you guys the last watering on here. Oh, a clippy clip fell off. It's all floppity flop. That's what she said. But um, we gave it three liters pH at 6.5 on the button this time and a full dose of NPK raw silica because we like it raw, baby. So yeah, that's it guys. And we pulled off the bottom leaves because it looks like it's going into flower. So I'm not too worried about stress now. It's 25 days in, but yeah. So she so looks kind of a mess now. Make sure you implement the leaf tucking when you can guys. Leaf tucking will go far. You can just move the leaves out of the way instead of plucking them. There you have it guys, day 25. Boom, day 30 guys. I thought I had footage uh, before this, but apparently i didn't it's only been four or five days though so yeah we've just been training 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 look at all the clips guys just beautiful beautiful we got such a wicked canopy she's about to go to sleep now you should have seen it a few hours ago just perky just beautiful so we go four or five days literally in between waterings bam hit her with three full liters and um probably a little bit over actually about three and a half liters to be you know right on the point right on the money i would say it would be exactly about yeah three and a half liters guys because each one's a little bit more than a liter and boom so we saturate her nice and we leave her for four days or so and boom do it again and she's just been loving it lights at 60 percent I don't know how high it is, because I lost my tape measure. Well, day 32 has arrived, guys. I just gave it three liters of water, pH at 6.5. We defoliated, took off some of the bigger leaves, as you can tell. I did end up um, putting another clip, 
Now see, it's just even everywhere. I lollipopped, got rid of anything that wouldn't be good down there. Yeah, and three liters of water. Light's been a hair over 60%, one tick. Boom, day 32. Well, day 34, she's still trucking along. We got the canopy totally even by putting on that second clip. Look at that sucker, man. We Day 36, guys, and I just gave it four full liters because it's 84 degrees in here. It's actually 86 in the tent over there, so it's hotter than ever. We've been running this light at 70%, which is usually about as high as, um, high as I would go. So everything is way more intense with this plant, and we just gave it four liters, as you see, so it's droopy right now, but she's so healthy, man, and doing so well. And we're slowly gonna increase to 80, and then to 90, and then we're, we're not gonna go higher than 90. There's no need, there's no way we need to go higher than 90. That's absolutely crazy, but we are gonna push this plant to the max. Day 36. Yo, 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 here we are at day 42, guys. It just got four liters of water, okay? Now, I've been trying to do around two a day. No, it's not working. This sucker needs four liters of water a day, guys. Oh, my God, look at it. Like, this is my work of, this is my masterpiece, my work of art, guys. Okay, so no bad comments, guys. I killed it. I killed it. Not literally, but I'm literally doing a killer job. So, light just went from around 730 par at a tick under 80. We're going to a tick, just about a tick over. And uh, I don't think we're going to go any higher than that. That's got to be around 800 par. I will check. Oh, wow, guys. That's getting over a thousand par. What the heck it was just saying it's not, okay yeah and then like up here oh it's too much man that's gonna be too much for an auto we gotta go down a, a hair under 80. yeah i think it was good where it is yeah guys more around seven seven i think that's around that's better around seven in between six seven maybe a little over so there you have it day 42. So it's uh, day 49 has arrived and we are blasting through the newts, guys. I gave it four liters of water last night. It's been 24 hours exactly and it's bone dry already. She is going through four liters of nutrients a day at this point or of uh, water. So what I did was take one heaping teaspoon of um, green rush organic nutrients and sprinkled that all in and mixed it in like a top dress, guys. I might need to do that once or twice, I'm thinking, because it's a little early and we I knew I was going to run into that. I pushed the crap out of this plant, guys. I can't believe the nutrients. Whatever nutrients they put in it, it lasts for a good while. It's got us all this way. That's wild, man. And I've been hammering it with the par and hammering it with the water, just hammering it with everything, guys. She's going to get four liters today and pretty much every day from here on out. Well, gardeners, here we are at day 58 now. We skip ahead a little bit. Just been giving her four liters of water every second day. She's been gobbling it up now. We gave it that one feeding. I gave it that one feeding and it didn't do nothing. It didn't darken it back up because it's like, I was watching a podcast with this really smart guy on it and he was saying, a plant will fade no matter what. Even if you're giving it full nudes, if it's done, it's done. It's going to fade. It's like a person that's dying from cancer in the hospital or something. Are they going to eat? No. That's exactly how he explained it. I was like, oh, wow, this seems a little bit early. So I fed it because I've been pushing this hard, guys. I've been using these lately, and then I measured it. This is extra red light, and I measured it, and I was like, oh, my God, a thousand plus par. So I had to lower this light to 60 and meet when these are on. I've been just hitting it like six hours a day with those on and 
She's been getting around 900 parred. He's like, I told you, I pushed this one hard. So I'm thinking, wow, she ate up the food too quick, right? I fed it, did nothing. Like she just wants to keep feeding. It just kept fe feeding more. So when they're done, they're done. And now I've just been going around removing leaves. I removed quite a bit, opening it up. We're on day 58. There's some really green ones down there still. I've just been trying to uh, kind of bend these over, spread it out over the whole tent more, just so then we can get some light more into the bottom ones down here. But she's pretty well done, guys. She's gonna be done in the next two weeks, tops. I chiropractored every branch, like doing a little snappy thing, but see, like, it strengthens it everywhere. Everywhere you see it's cracked like that, and it increases the nutrient mobility. So she's a beauty. She's a beauty. Day 58, guys. We'll be back in another week or so, and it's pretty much time for chop time. Well, day 62 has arrived. We just gave her four liters of water. That's it. Four liters every second day, guys. We're turning the light down from 80% to 60. I can tell she's starting to get little tiny startings of um foxtails so i caught it right away she's pretty well done i like to let it finish right up and it does say what does the strain say i can get rid of any of these that are just gonna fall off too i took the clips all off it broke one of them clean in half <laughs> yeah you might uh you want to watch that it's a waste of good clips Okay, where's the freaking thing? 70 to 85 days, guys. And she's like, she's done. I, that's why I said, I pushed the crap out of this plant, man. She could have been done at day 60 even. Look at it. Look at it. Holy macaroni. She's a beauty, guys. This, now I can't say I'm not impressed with this. This is how an auto flower should turn out. If they all turned out like this, with this dank smell too, Sign me up, baby. 60 days? Holy crap, man. My big giant mama over here is a day 68. She's throwing veg. <laughs> so I see why people like them. I'll keep growing them, guys. You guys want to see them. And I'm getting better and better because this is looking great. Day 62. E67 for this girl. Look at the chunky, monkey, funky donkeys. I don't know how that means. I'm excited, guys. That's huge. That's also what she said. But, man, I'm loving this, guys. You guys got me loving autos. If they turn out like this, holy macaroni. Look at that. Still not as dank and not as awesome as uh, some of the photo period strains, but holy, man, for 67 days, guys, and we could have pulled this down heat like at D60, I bet you. Like you could tell they're done. It's just a 70 to 85 day strain. I want to let it at least go for 70. And I can tell it's still packing on weight, as you can tell. Like this is starting to bend. And they're rock solid everywhere, guys. So you know what? I might even let it go to day 75. We will see, but I'm gonna hit it with two liters of water today. The light's been turned down because it doesn't need as much light now. It was starting to get little foxtails starting and I could tell, which we stopped that from turning the light down. Almost stopped it instantly. So that's good. And we're just gonna let her keep putting on weight and keep fading out, guys. So yeah, she's a freaking beauty. I'll pretty much come back when it's time to chop her. Day 75, day 74, so we're yeah, I thought I had other footage, but I lost footage, guys. Now, all we've been doing is hitting her with water every second day. Four liters of water every second day. Normal dechlorinated tap water. She is a beauty, guys. And we blasted it with par. She was getting over 900 par for most of the time. And for some of the time we had on those red lights, and it was getting over 1,000 par. So she just ate it up like a goblin like look at the size of that one guys look at how huge that is that's what she said <laughs> it's so rock hard too 
That's also what she said. <laughs> I'm so cringe. Oh, man. Oh, you guys love me, though. I freaking love you guys, too. You guys have literally become my family. I don't talk to anyone else but you guys. You know, drop a like, too, guys. Like, not there's so many of you guys. Like, over 30 game. We're like, come on, guys. We should be back on a 1,000 likes easily. One out of 30? Like, come on, guys. Hit that like button. It takes two seconds. I put a lot of work into this. I really do. So, and the likes, they go far, guys. They feed me. The likes and comments feed me. <laughs> Look at the size of these, though. Holy, man. It's nothing like a photo on auto, guys. It's, like, just massive. We should be getting over a quarter pound. If not, she's obviously got a lot of intercellular water, which all buds are different. They're made up, like, there's so much like the human body, guys. Like, muscle, too. You know, we got intercellular water. Same with these. So every person's different. Every plant's different. It could feel, they could look real huge and dense until you dry them out and they shrivel up to nothing so i don't want to make any guesses but i got almost three ounces off the last one and this one is a beast i want to grow this strain more i hate well i what am i talking about i'm not going to say i hate autos but i started to hate autos because it just they always end up not dense they end up loose and just like scraggle weed but I'm really starting to like them now, like especially when you blast them like this. Maybe I need to blast them all with crazy power like this and they'll get super dense. No, obviously that's not the answer, but look at that. Like they're flopping over guys and everything. Absolutely crazy. Day 74, I will be back tomorrow for day 75. We're gonna cut her down, show you guys how I, where I store it, temperatures, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, 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 Gromies, here we are the next day. Holy crap, day 75. Wild. She's coming down. She is coming down. Look at the size of that. Holy macaroni. That's a freaking big one. That's a big one. It won't even stay up. Some of them are flopping around, guys. They're flopping around. All right, it's time to chop a root. Bam. I'm thinking four ounces, guys. It's got to be close to that. It's got to be close to four. Not as heavy as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Give you guys a good look here. size of those huge beautiful plant guys beautiful plant for barely doing anything it's pretty simple all right guys i simply take a hanger i put one of the legs through whoops oh you don't want to go through do you well i'll make you go through there. You can pull off any big leaves if you want that are in the way. I like to let it hang. Hang hold. Oh, just like that. Try to bend the branches out to let the air get in between them. Whoa. Don't be just falling on me. Now you want to keep it as close to 65 degrees Fahrenheit and 65% humidity as you can. It's about 70 in here right now. Air conditioner's going, uh, temps are dropping outside now. It's going to be down to 22, so we're going to be able to, uh, and it's for the next week pretty much before it gets hot again, it says. So we picked the perfect time to chop this girl down. We should be able to keep it at least around 70 at the most, but I'll, I'll probably get it down pretty damn close to what I need it to be. Because uh, a lot of the tents are going to be in flower here, and some of them already are, so... All you got to do is keep it 65, right? So 75 in the tents with the lights on is perfect for flower. And then with no light, it's right around 65. Works out just great. 
I'm just gonna hang it off the light. Bam. Just like that, right there, guys. I'm gonna zip her up and I'm gonna leave it. I'm not even putting a fan in. I'm gonna leave the uh, exhaust fan running maybe just on low and she will be done soon. And I'll come back, we'll trim her up. We'll get her bagged up. Show you how to cure and trim, all that good stuff. And we are back, guys. Holy absolute shit. This is insane. Wait till you see this, you guys. But look at that's what's left. This stuff was the, oh, some of the easiest stuff I've ever trimmed. I just did it in one sitting. Took maybe maybe close to three hours, not even. Still actually, I can still get a few more grams out of this, but look at that. <laughs> like, no larf. The strain is just amazing, guys. Let's go forward on the scale. All right. Now. Minus 20 grams for the bag. Hundred and forty nine grams. Holy crap, guys. I think this might be my biggest yield off of one autoflower. That is absolutely crazy. It has a sweet kind of smell to it already. Like, oh man, this stuff is I'm impressed. I'm super impressed with this, guys. Holy crap. Now, I'm just going to dump it out. Ah, there's my bowl. I'll get the bowl. I can't believe that yield, guys, and the quality. How easy it was to trim how big the buds turned out. I didn't pull them apart like I always do. Like that would be in a bunch of pieces. You see how it can... I don't know why I just always did that. I felt like they dry better and it's just... You're going to pull them apart anyways, right? So what the heck? Look at that. <laughs> always a freaking gingy here, eh? absolutely crazy guys i am blown away there's any other bigger ones oh there's my heart remember the heart shaped one guys oh yeah <laughs> and look at how good it's trimmed like i trimmed it up awesome look at no larf no shitty little small buds like there is some but they're actually decent little buds Wow, guys. Wow. <laughs> Over five ounces off of one auto. Like I said, when that three by three is empty, I'm doing four, four of these because I got four seeds left that I can find. I wish I had kept more. I think I gave a lot away. I should have kept a lot more. Ooh. Get all the big buds so I can get a good one for the thumbnail. Call my bud small now, mother. There's. What's up now? What's up now? Oh, that's what's up. More gingy hairs. That's what's up. Uh, we're okay. We're okay. Yeah. If that doesn't deserve a like, guys, and a comment, then I don't know what does, man. Please drop a comment. Drop a like. I freaking love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Signing off.